Hello LEGO fans, Mighty Stacker here with another LEGO Ninjago review. This one is one of this year's sets, number 70501, the Warrior Bike. 210 pieces, two minifigures, ages 8 to 14. So here is the front of your box. Here is the back. Here at the top corner here you can see the Warrior Bike as it's shown in the series. It's pretty cool looking. You get the main features of the set. Looks like a rapid fire, flick fire missile launcher. That's pretty cool. And it's got some neat little features like Jay and his ice sword. So, enough talk. Let's build it. All right, here it is. It's a really cool, awesome set. Great build, love it. So, let's start with the minifigures. First of all, we have Jay with blue in his totally awesome kimono and his blue lightning sword. His lightning element sword, that's pretty cool. He's got himself a jetpack to fight against the the warrior bike. This sort of thing was seen before with uh, Kai. He had a jetpack that came with a rattlecopter. The rattlecopter. It's a, it's a pretty cool set. Let me just take off the jetpack here. See a little bit of back printing there on his kimono. All in all, this is a pretty cool minifigure. He's got a face, front printing only on the face. It's a pretty cool looking thing. And now we move on to the Stone Samurai Warrior. Pretty bad looking guy. Got some great front and back printing. Show you the back printing here. This is a pretty nice minifigure. This is a brand new piece here on the helmet. Looks like a crab with its pinchers up. Take off the helmet there. You can see his face but no back printing on the f on the face there all in all they're both really cool minifigures it's got a regular katana blade and um, don't really know what the name of this other sword is but it's a pretty cool looking sword so minifigures aside let's have a look at the set itself so this warrior bike a pretty cool looking motorcycle. I noticed that there's a lot of motorcycles in this particular theme. For the first series, it was the Skull Motorbike. For this, for the next series, the Snakes, it was Ratla's Bite Cycle. And for this series, the Warrior Bike. Now, when you build it, you build one section at a time. You build the this section here first, and then you build the main section here with these way cool awesome treads. And then you piece them both together with these guide pins here. Show you the underside. Go right through. It's pretty awesome. On the front here. Whoops. You can see a couple of teeth, it looks like. It actually looks like a samurai helmet here with, I think, green eyes. It's a pretty cool looking set. Rolls along quite nicely. Oops. It's a pretty cool set. 
Now, I want to show you the main feature of this set. This flick fire missile. It's actually activated right here. Whoops. I want to show you how far it can fly. Just take the camera off the stand for a minute. Oh, look at that. You can see the main mechanism. It's just a rubber band on a guide post. And you pull this little lever here, flick it all the way back, and pretty cool looking thing. Pretty sweet features. Now, rating of this set. I am going to say definite, absolutely no doubt about it, go out and get it. If you haven't already gotten it, go out and get it. It's an awesome buy at only $24.99. That's how much I got it for. $24.99 Canadian, $19.99 American. It's a pretty cool looking set. Got some sweet back wheels. Got a nice rubber tread. All in all, perfect buy. I'll see you next time on another Ninjago set review when I review Cole's Earth Driller or Garmatron. See you later, Lego fans.